spirits meet. And today we have a German gin on my cask. And the German gin is called Illusionist Gin. Unfortunately, my close-up camera is a bit broken, so I only have my close-up camera. It's a, a very... Uh, where does it come from? There it is. It's a very, very black bottle. And it says Illusionist on the label. It's a dry gin, so no added sugar. 45% ABV and a half a liter. And it's an um, organic whiskey. In Germany it's called Öko. Um, so it's organically grown and it comes from Hohenburg, from the Illusionist Distillery. And this whiskey, and uh, whiskey, oh, do too much whiskey with this. Um, this gin has uh, its specialty in color. It's said to be very, very blue, and when you add uh, tonic water, it is turning pink. Let's see. Um, it's a gin made with. Uh, Oh, it's really, really blue. That's a blue Curacao blue. Yeah, that's a, that looks really, really unnatural. <laughs> and yeah, it's made with, uh, of course, a juniper and also uh, sorry, um, lemon peel, uh, sweet wood and uh, nutmeg, um, uh, what's it called, surroundings. The, the one that's surrounding the nut, the the husks, the husks, the nutmeg husks. So um, yeah, really, really blue. It looks like a blue curacao. Privately, I just came in contact with blue curacao. That that smells really, really um, artificial. Let's see how this is. Oh, that is like a a very classical gin. So there's a, like ninety percent juniper in there. A lot of juniper. Oh. And it's uh, there's a bit of a, a citrus note in there. So these citrus peels, yeah, they're definitely in there. And uh, a little bit of a nutmeg note as well. So, but it's a very, very classical dry gin. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, mm. juniper is overwhelming. So one one trait of a gin is it has to be the the dominant flavor has to be gin or has, has to be flavor of gin. I think it's called like that. This is very dominant with uh, the uh, juniper, and oh, there's a bit of a and you know that feeling that little bit of a. Um, a little bit of a pelty feeling, a little bit of a mm, that feeling from juniper, where it's like like a little bit tickling, a little bit numb on your mouth. That's that feeling that comes from the juniper is very present here. So if you don't like this classical juniper taste from a gin, then this is not your gin. But if you like it, it's a it's a good gin with a, a little bit of a fresh note in the nose of citrus. In taste, it's there, but more of a side note. In the taste, you do have more of a bit of a that uh, nutmeg going on in there, like a, a very, very faint uh, spiciness going on. Mm -hmm. So let's try the the let's try the. The test with the tonic water. So if you make a gin tonic, it should look uh, pink. Let's have a look. Oh, it does. Um, I've tried it in the German tank as well. And I can tell you, if you add more uh, tonic, it's becoming more um, pink. And if you just add some tonic, and then it turns kind of purple. So it's it's a mixture between the blue and the pink. And yeah, so I found out that <laughs> I am my usual uh, mixture of uh, gin and tonic is 
far on the tonic, uh, not on the tonic, on the gin side. So I'm, um, I really do like the, the gin flavor and not just the tonic. And some people like it much more sweet, so they add more tonic. So let's try it. Mm. Yeah, classical gin tonic. Mm. Gin, strong on the juniper side. A mm. little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of a bitter tone coming from the tonic. Very well balanced. The citrus flavor is very faint and also the sweet wood and the, the nutmeg is also uh, very faint. Mm. Ah, but I like it. It's, it's a nice classical gin tonic. So this is made for a classical gin tonic and um, I like it because um, this is more about the, the fancy style of having a, a, a blue gin and a pink gin tonic and um, usually when people do that they have a very very funky taste to it or something else and then it's just for me it's then ruined because you can't enjoy that but this is just a, a, a good gin normal classical gin with that uh, color play on the side. So you can do that. So if you have a look at it and you have uh, want to have something cool at your party with your gin tonic, then um, you might as well give it a try to buy one bottle. Yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.